In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Just about enough. It's time to come down. No, we're going to stay up here where you can't bother us. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson. Oh, oh. Hello. Oh. Oh. It. <laughs> it looks like Tom Servo and Crow T. Robot have set up housekeeping in that ventilation duct up there. Oh. Sorry, Joel. We love you. We just can't live with you. What, Servo? Use your words, Servo. Use your words. I have to go. Oh. Oh. Why didn't you think about that before we got up here? Oh. 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 I gotta go. I'm really scared. It's making me feel real funny, and I gotta go really fast. Oh! 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 oh, oh. Here, come, oh, come on oh, up here. Gee. Oh! 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 oh. Here. I gotta, I gotta, hey, I gotta, Crow. I gotta. Hell no, I won't go. Hey, uh, Crow. Uh, Tom and I are gonna go over to Burger King and get us a Shamrock Shake. Bamarat McDonald. Hey, you guys. Really neat fork. Oh hey, no. Gypsy, no, you're too. Uh, oh, Gypsy, no, 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 you too quick clowning around. Oh, oh. Oh, whoops. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Uh, that was fun. Uh, oh, Gypsy, you shouldn't fall on us. You're getting too big for that. Yeah, my mom says you can't come over anymore because you play too rough. Uh-oh, Crook and Chase are calling. Hello, Joe, Kroll, Tim Serbo, the big one. I'm in a decidedly good mood today. The Mariners won. I received a gift certificate for having my drapes clean. And Frank took a nasty fall on the stairs today. Why don't you show me what you've got, eh what? Hey, check this out. <laughs> okay, okay, get going. Oh, gypsy. oh, the Adventure Exchange. Well, this is based on the popular see and say toy that helps teach kids about the animal kingdom. Right, only ours helps kids to sort through the maze of family reunions by matching their relatives' faces, names, and voices on this colorful and amusing toy. Yeah, it's called the Aunt Catherine Wheel. Uh, why don't you show them how it works, Joel? Uh, which one's Uncle Carl again? Oh, okay, I just line it up on Uncle Carl here, pull the lever. Uncle Carl says. Hey, why don't you grab your uncle another beer, huh? <laughs> hey, Joel, is <laughs> Grammy Fisher the one who smells weird? No, oh no, this, here's Grammy Fisher right there, okay? Well, Grammy Fisher says. Well, this will probably be my last Christmas with you kids. <laughs> well, hmm. what do you think, sirs? Aunt Ethel says. You're on the goofballs, aren't you? Well? Ah, oh, not bad. I bet Frank would really like one of those. And here's Frank now, wearing my invention for this week's exchange. Everyone has a smoking jacket, and now for the foppish lush, there's my new drinking jacket. Large pockets really hide the booze, and it comes with the DTs, of course. Ah, ah, oh, ah, ah, oh my god! Oh, oh, help me! Help me! Help me! Nurse! 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 Ah, ah. Perfect for a naked lunch ah, over oh, any oh, lost oh, weekend, oh, or oh, take it oh, under oh, the volcano oh, for those oh, days please, of wine please. and roses. Ah. Who's afraid nurse, of Virginia Woolf? Not my little barfly with his new drinking jacket from Old English Botany 500, who remind you that who's really heals. Joel? That is the sickest thing you guys have ever done. Two words, get over it. 
And speaking of sick, this week's experiment is from the mixed up files of one Bert I. Gordon. I give you Tormented. And watch for me in the Blaine Community Theater production of Butterflies Are Free. Well, huh. <laughs> me, huh? Oh, Tormented, I have a feeling this is aptly named. The Secret Store. Sounds like the horn section is stuttering. Mm -hmm. Forever in Lou Jeans. As six? What? Oh. Mm -hmm. Crazy boy. Keep cool. Ah, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's tough to take. Gordon and Steinberg, wherever fine films are sold. <laughs> Mr. Laszlo, your papers of transit. Scognamillo? I think that's a triple word score in Scrabble. Mm -hmm. Oh, is the great George Worthing Yates writing the screenplay? <laughs> Ah, 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 gee. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. Additional modern jazz sequences by Calvin Jackson, Jeans. Oh, special visual effects. Uh, Bert, have you seen the traveling mat? <laughs> not Bill Forsyth, no, not the... I have a sinking feeling. Oh. <laughs> Honey West. Directed by Bert I. Gordon! Yeah! Tormented by Topper. Peace and quiet. The peace of waves forever breaking on the shore. The quiet of tranquil moonlight on the sea. Hawaii. When the night winds rise and the fingers of the fog steal in, they say you can hear voices. They say it's the dead growing restless and calling to the living. What are you, Graham Edge from the Moody Blues? Until that evening, Bai came looking for me. But you always knew that Boy, Mary crappy was house. Out. I never lied to you. But I always thought that. Look, Bai, whatever you thought is your business. But it's all over. It's finished. You should never have come here, and you'll be doing yourself a favor if you take the first boat back. It's over, Ivana. I can't go back without you. Please come back with me, Tom. Just tell her you changed your mind. Nobody even knows I'm on the island. I chartered a private boat over. I won't even go back to the club. I'll quit right now. <coughs> Jeez, did you have garlic earlier? Snakes realize when a good thing is over. They're the only ones on the island. Why are they whispering? A singer like me doesn't fit in the picture anymore. I hear she's quite young and has money too. Hmm. I please understand. I'm a magic I man. Dun, 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 dun. I need you, Tom. No one will ever love you more than I do. Well, there's something about an aqua velva, mm -hmm. man. I'm sorry for everything. Especially putting worms in your bed. I still have your letters. Mm -hmm. Whoa, someone gave her a bra No, honey, <laughs> no. All done. I've never been in the lighthouse before. Show me the light, darling. Got to think. <clears throat> This could be the nursery. We could have the bassinet over by the Fresnel lens. What about the letters, by? Oh, I never throw anything like that away. You never know when they might come in handy. Hmm. I wonder how she'd feel if I read them to her. Putting in pertinent footnotes, of course. Like Mad Libs. Hmm. Or maybe I have to show them to a lawyer. I'm sure he'd know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. How would a lawsuit fit in with your music career, Tom? How would the piano genius of jazz feel about that kind of publicity? Oh, like there's never been a sex scandal in jazz before. Darling, you look as if you were ready to kill me. Bingo! Now you get this straight. I'm marrying Peggy. And you get this straight, Tom Stewart. No one will ever have you but me. Scared straight. <laughs> What? Huh? Bring, bring. Oh, honey, telephone's ringing. I gotta go. 
Bye. Well, that's what she gets for railing against him. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, uh, hold on, I've decided to save you. Uh, no. Shoot. A note to myself, never date in a lighthouse. Miss Johnson, send in another fiancé. Next week on Tormented. Tonight's episode, Jonathan Livingston Murder. Hi, I'm Bill Baroud for World of Adventure. Ooh, gee, she really came apart on the rocks. Ew. <laughs> no, no, that's not her. Yep. Spalding, old man! Hey, it looks like the dad from Flipper. Yeah. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Well, now he's body surfing. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> oh, nothing like an invigorating swim with a corpse in the morning. <laughs> I gotta make this my daily ritual here. Da -da -da -da. Catch a wave when you're sitting on top of a girl. <laughs> Tonight on a very special Baywatch. Look, I'm really sorry about last night. Can I make it up to you? Here, folks, you take her. Uh, here, you be Deborah Kerr. I'll be Burt Lancaster. Hmm? Uh, she's turning into a Caesar salad. Huh. Huh? It's a, sort of an herbal wrap, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. What? No croutons? Somebody help me! <laughs> Even a death, I'm funny. <laughs> Your little conscience. Sandy. What are you doing? Sandy, look, do me a favor, will you? And run out and play somewhere. I'm busy. Oh, I see another corpse turned into seaweed. Wouldn't it when that nip nip up? Don't you like me anymore? Well, you're assuming I liked you in the first place. I like you. I love you. I just want to be by myself. Oh, killing some. Oh, no. The Emerson's had a beach barbecue, and everyone on the island was there. Except half. Ned was looking all over for you. Sandy, please run along. Okay. Sorry to disturb you. I almost forgot. The wedding announcement came, and Mommy wants you to look at one before we send them out. There's only a week till the big day. Yeah, okay, okay. They think it's a piece of brain. Still again, give me that. And it's still ticking. I'm John Cameron Swayze for Timex. Uh, no, I'll take care of it. Oh, jeez, Haley Mills gets the parent trap. I get stuck in this lousy. seaweed. Hmm. I know what's the matter with me. I'm seeing things. I'm letting my imagination run wild. They're also doing voiceovers for crappy movies. No. Why should it bother me? I didn't do anything to buy. I didn't kill her. It's her own fault she's dead. It's her own fault I didn't save her. I love myself unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. I love myself unconditionally. Oh, ow, 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 oh, ow, 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 ow. I need a vacation. Something urban. The Quad Cities or Davenport. Hmm. I think I'll return to the scene of the crime to cheer myself up. It worked. Honey, I'm home. Oh, yeah, you're dead. The long and winding stairs. Boy, you know a pair of pants would feel real good right about now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pad out the film starting now. Ugh. 
Jeez, her butt must have weighed a ton. Ooh. Locks in place. I'm ready for my next victim. Oh, that Columbo's not gonna figure this out. Mm. Hmm? Now cut that out. She came out here of her own accord. No, it was a camera. Railing, she fell. Wasn't my fault if it gave way. Mm -mm. Why should I be blamed? I had nothing to do with it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, nobody ever needs to know. Nobody will even connect me with her. Why should they? Except for this watch of hers. Right, Three skips. Bye. That's the end of you. You're gonna die, you evil man! I know it. I'm living it. Oh, I hate Mondays. Mm -hmm. Oh, the bridge club will be here any minute and I'm not ready. Jeez, oh, days like this, I just feel like having a shower, a sandwich, and straight to bed. Is that you, Bird Eye Gordon? Oh, oh my 10 o'clock. I'll be right with you. Huh? She's wearing today's paper. Meg. It will come, come back, back to, to you. you. Back to you. This is the greatest chick trap ever that invented. Oh, no, no. It's just that I wasn't expecting anyone. Anyone alive, anyway. What are you doing up here? Looking for you. What are you doing up here in this old white house? Well, I... Uh, I live here. At least it's quiet. I, uh... I, I wanted to think. I guess I'm worried about that Carnegie Hall thing next month. I wonder if I'm good enough. Yeah, being an usher is a big responsibility. You're the best jazz pianist in the world. Oh, yeah, much better than Art Tatum, Bud Powell, I, Bill Evans. I never loved anyone before in my life. Not that survived anyway. Nor did I. Hmm? Eclipse? You here? Perfume. Oh, I like to wear Chanel number five just to Perfume or page. I uh, wanted to smell pretty for you. <laughs> Cold and gloomy in here. Just need a creep having that big lap staring at us. I hate the prying eyes of Lots furniture. Since the light stopped working. Glad they're going to tear it down. Well, let's go outside to the sun's warm Yeah. What a morning, huh? Ay, ay, ay. Coming? Uh, I didn't kill her. I'm. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Your swimsuit looks like it's made out of S and H green stamps. Thanks a lot. Bye. Tonight from the crypt, I want to bury a night housekeeper. <laughs> Sessions presents Soft Rock Classics, Leo Sayer. When I need love. And Murray. You needed me. And many more. I'm sending the gown tomorrow. Oh, you're going to love it, Tom. Ooh, I was supposed to see about a tie for Dad, and I forgot. Oh. I'll be so glad when the whole thing's over with, won't you? Honey, shut up. It'll only be a week more. We can't wait that long, can't we? No, I want to kill you now. Wait a minute, didn't Vi die in pumps and she's back, she's barefooted. Mm. Uh, honey, are you carrying a pocket theremin? Mm. You love me so much, Tom. You love me, don't you? Mm. Mm -hmm. My braces! Mm. Mm. Wait a minute, were you just walking on all fours? Don't you see anything? There's nothing to see. Right there. Water, source of all life. It's wet. Why? Not wet. It's better. Roy, you feed? Hey. <laughs> I've got to get out of here. Right away. I need air. Hey. Let's the boat. We can catch the boat to the mainland and be married this afternoon. Well, I was never for a big deal anyway. I only agreed to it because you wanted it. Man, that I still want it? Please, Meg, please, do this for me. Just go away with me right now. I told you that's impossible. 
I'll have to go by myself. Elope by yourself? What about the wedding? What about it, Meg? If you go, there won't be one, that's all. Right. Elope by himself? Meg. What's he gonna do? Carry himself over the threshold? <laughs> and men. Sessions presents David Soul. Don't give up on us, Now you'll perform the greatest of all magic accomplishments ever performed on this island. The secret cabinet. Don't you have your own it's family, kid? Notice, the cabinet is empty. Tom, Tom, what? you're not paying any attention. Oh, I'm waiting Don't for the waitress. The secret cabinet. Oh, sure I do. I, I wouldn't miss it. Go ahead. If I close the doors to the magic cabinet and say the magic words, and tap it with my magic wand. Mm. Ah, I saw it do this in Vegas. Where's my drink? It is now filled with jelly beans. Tom Stewart. Oh, fair, but, huh? Fine one you are. Sandy. Sandy, if you hate me for the rest of your life, I deserve it. I couldn't hate you no matter what you did. I killed someone. No matter what I, I did. You. No matter what. Even like... Fighting with your sister? Meg's mad at me, you know. She'll get over it. But if she doesn't, you'll be free to marry me. Hmm? Okay. From now on, you're the other woman in my life. Put her down, Jerry Lee. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we gotta go. You run along now. I got some practice to do. I'll clean up your magic stuff. Bye. Bye, Tom. But Kennedy would have won even without Texas. He didn't need Johnson. True, true. But still, it must have been nice to win Texas. Mm -hmm. It probably made it feel real good. Now, what's going on up there? It's me, Joel. I'm cleaning up. You guys left crunch berries everywhere up here. Oh, that's great. Uh, try to keep quiet, will you? We're talking here. Oh, great. You guys just relax while I clean up your mess. Okay, great. Let us know if we can help. Anyway, Servo Johnson, Schmanson, you can't say that Kennedy. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Hey, Joel, ah, what are you doing? Do you have any self-control at all? I fell. I'm hanging oh. here by one arm. You guys have to help me. Oh, oh, Tom, did you hear that? We have to help Joel. Yeah, as a general rule, I don't like being told what I have to do. Something about it just gets to me. Yeah, well, I guess the cat's on the other foot now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should at least consider helping him, though. Uh, he does owe me two space credits. Oh, I'm willing to consider it. <laughs> Uh, come on, you guys. Uh, there may be a few changes around here, though, Joel. Um, for instance, how late can we stay up tonight? Uh, 8.30, same as always. Mm. Oh, okay. Joel, your arm getting tired? Okay, nine. <laughs> hey, come on. You know, Joel, I think I'd like to be taller than you and more popular. Look at that. What a pathetic figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joel. What? I'm very sorry. It's just that you put us in a rather unusual situation. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, uh, okay, let's have a nice smoked duck and goat cheese pizza tonight. Huh? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Come on, you guys really <laughs> expect me to make that? No, no, Mr. Robinson. I expect you to die. <laughs> Come on, you have to help me. <laughs> oh, there he goes again. Boy, that makes me angry. And hungry. Hey, let's yeah. dig into those Super Mario fruit chunks, okay? Great idea. Yeah, we got a date mm, with Mrs. Butterworth. Mm, sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yes. Oh, man, I got an Indian jumpsuit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you have nice calves. Let's see. Uh... Oh, I feel so bad. I'm going to kill me a girlfriend yes, yes. and marry the girl I need. Testify. I'm going to kill me a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. She'll turn into seaweed. Mm -hmm. It's the blues, she'll be wailing cause of my dirty deed. And that faulty lighthouse railing, baby. Ooh. What is this, a Better Homes and Gardens video? Mm. Ooh, baby. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, suddenly he's writing a Charles Ives piece. 
It's a pencil sharpener on the end there. Our sessions. Milton Bradley presents Tormented, where the, you're the killer, woman not included. Hey. Mm. Wonder if this is on CD. Hmm. Tormented. Now it's a coaster. <laughs> where was I? Hey. Now I do have the blues. Now cut that out! Huh? All right, Alan Funt, where are you? Oops. Ah, oh, cripes, I just remembered. I borrowed this from the library. Hiya, Mr. B. Hey, it's a blind lemon pledge. <clears throat> I brought you some flowers. Oh, uh, yeah, just put that in the cold fish bowl. Something the matter, Tom? Where'd you say that? You sound upset. Perhaps I'd better check you another time. Oh, no. No, Mrs. Ellis. No, come here and sit down. Thank you for the flowers. They're lovely. Watch out, Mr. Buckle. Watch out, no, honey. Look out. Mrs. Ellis, I want to ask you something. How many fingers am I holding Stop up? Stop it. <laughs> Sounds kind of silly, but would well, you believe that the spirits of the dead can come back to haunt the living? Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in peanut butter? What makes you ask a thing like that? You haven't answered, Mrs. Ellis. Nobody believes in ghosts nowadays. Uh, well, do you? If anybody was to ask me seriously, I would have to say no. What if I asked you dressed course, in a clown suit? A real suit? estate agent runs into many strange things in an empty house sometimes. What kind of things? Well, there was a family named Samuels. They lived in that last house down the beach. On the left? One day, their little boy took his dog and went fishing. They never came back, and nobody knows what happened to them. Coincidence? Read the book. After the Samuels moved away, I signed three tenants during that first month but not one of them would stay more than a few days. Believe it yeah, yeah, I know that or story, not. That doesn't prove anything. They complained about an unseen dog whining and scratching at the door, but that wasn't what made them break their lease. The dog piddled the carpet and I evicted them. It was the cold up in the boy's room. Oh, yeah. You could feel it in your bones, a deathly cold. The walls were always damp and stained with seawater. Whatever caused it, the thing came back every night. Did you ever see it, Mrs. Ellis? It's been many years since I've seen anything. Oh, he deserved that. I'm sorry, yeah. I, I keep forgetting. Did, did anybody see it? You keep forgetting? They say they found wet seaweed on the boy's bed. Well, but you can't call wet seaweed a ghost, can you? Tom, what's wrong? Well, I pushed this one. I mean, uh, uh nothing. That's good. You're running away from something. You read me like a cheap novel. Well, Tom? Well, the truth is I'm a crappy jazz musician, oh. all right? Something I... I can't believe exists myself. If it does exist, you can't solve anything by running. Well, how about speed walking? Then, on the other hand, if it doesn't exist, there's nothing to run from. Did you read that in a fortune cookie? You're a very wise woman, Miss Ellis. Yeah, it's just too bad you got thanks, green and pink thanks. on. Oh, and thanks for the flowers. They're beautiful. Come back soon. Oh. Look out! Oh. Sessions presents Paper Lace. The night Chicago died. Oh, oh. I'll go away. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Hallowed be thy name. Uh -huh. No, leave me alone. Mm, typical lazy musician, get up. Well, suddenly it's a song of Bernadette here. Where's my watch? 
Help me, Obi-Wan. You're my last hope. Seems refreshed. Oh. Change for the dream sequence. Hmm? What do you know? Hmm? Now I'm in the seven year itch. Con Dios. <laughs> oh man, I got a headache this big, and it's got Bird Eye Gordon written all over it. Oh, I gotta get back to bed. Wait a minute. Uh, I'm in bed. She's so transparent. Oh. No, go away. You're dead. Leave me alone. I'll never. I'll always. Oh, terrific. I killed the Lander sisters. Can't decide which one of you scares me more. Hi. C'est what fair is everywhere! <laughs> oh, look, get a life! Oh, Sally! It's Haley Mills and Haley Mills in the Death Trap! <laughs> Damn! I'm still a crappy musician! Oh great, 60 minutes is after me. Well, this belonged to V.I. Warshowski. Hmm. All right, Louis, come out with your hands up. Oh great, I left the house on again. Do presents Hamilton, Joe, Frank, and Reynolds. Don't pull your love out on me, honey. Commodores. You're once, twice, three times a lady. Sammy Johns. Made love in my Chevy van, and that's all right with me. Hey, there's a big band up in the lighthouse. Cuckoo. Hey, could you turn it down? Some of us have to work in the morning. You know, he's going to have huge calves by the end of this movie. Scaremaster. Nelson Riddle, keep it down! Bye. Look, it can make huge shadows on the ocean. <laughs> Bye. Vi ask Vi. <laughs> you can't hear me, can you? You don't even exist. Chuck Norris in Octagon. For a shadow, perhaps. Light, perhaps. A bit of beef, an underdone potato? More. Perhaps. But, by just in case you can hear me, I've come to tell you this. You smell bad and you broke my railing. I'm not gonna pay any attention to you anymore. And where'd you put my dress shoes? I'm gonna live my life right here. Okay. I'm gonna stop running. And I'm going to marry Meg, bye. I'm going to marry Meg. Bye. That's all I came to say. Bye. Come on. Pick up. I know you're there, Vi. Come on. Never existed. I'm going to marry Meg. Really, I am. You know, ever notice there's no bugs around that light? Hmm. It's yellow, I think. Just in case you can, hear me, Vi. Good night. And goodbye. I'll be making your life a living hell. Good night. No one will ever have you with me. That's the lighthouse, can hear you. Of all the lighthouses in all the world, she had to fall off of mine. Yeah, that's a good idea. The music will drive her away. Yeah. Driving me away. Oh, you. Wow, hi. Coke in the refrigerator. Help yourself. Okay. And there's a mirror on the table. Razor blade. Mm. 
I'd like to teach the world to sing, hey. Hey, that's a St. Pauli girl, put that down. Mrs. Elf said you wanted to sing. What about? I, uh, sit down. I need some help with autumn leaves. I wondered if you'd, uh, talk to your sister Meg for me. Tell her how sorry I am. Okay. You tell her I behaved like a little boy and I'm ashamed of myself. I'll tell her. She didn't call anything off. She didn't? Mm. Uh-uh. Guess she's ready to make up. Buy her something from Victoria's Secret. Are you all ready? Yeah, I'm all ready. Have you got the ring and everything? Mm -hmm. Let me see. How come you're not wearing any pants? Oh. Okay. Say. Oh, did you write that? It's fantastic. <gasps> Tom, it's gorgeous. But things are moving too fast. Oh, sure, lucky. Try it on? Sure. On what, your wrist? What I really want is one of my own. Well, you might be just a little bit young. I know. Dear little Sandy, she's just a child. Well, do you know how old I am? I'm practically nine. Why, in China and Borneo and India and places like that, girls already have husbands at my age. Hmm. I'd get married tomorrow if I could find someone like you. Well, let me call Bill Wyman. Can't I please try the ring? I just put it on your finger. What on my finger? The ring. I don't have the ring. That's what I said. Third base. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Thing. Give me five. Give me five. It's the ghost of Senior Winces. Jazz hands. Sandy, Sandy, don't touch it. What time? That right there. Sit, thing, sit. There's there. Could I have another St. Pauli girl? On my summer vacation, I babysat for a pair of nights psychotic. Sandy. Sandy, tell me the truth. Didn't you see anything right there? You need some downtime, Uncle Tom. Oh, I'll find a ring later. You run along now, Sandy. I gotta finish my practice. And... Gilligan. Bye, Sandy. I'll see you later. You'll be all right, Uncle Tom. Oh, that hand was a nice Bye. touch, Vi. I know now you've come back. Guy. But it won't do you any good. Because I'm going to marry Meg. Oh. What'd you do with the ring, Vi? <laughs> Vi! What did you do with that ring? <laughs> Sessions <laughs> presents Summer Hits, Terry Jacks. We had joy, we had fun. Mark Lindsay! Indiana wants me. Paul Anka! Having my baby. Barry Manilow! You know I can't smile without Vicky you. Vicki Lawrence! That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. Rupert Holmes! If you like being your colada, Donovan! Way down upon the ocean. Olivia Newton-John! I honestly love you. Bobby Goldsboro! And honey, I miss you. And many more! They want us to move closer! What? Cl what? Let's go somewhere quiet like the bus station! I don't understand what you're going to going to say because it's really oh, loud God. here. And... No more questions. You know what's wrong with you? What? You've been working too hard getting ready for your concert. You've been murdering too hard. lonely mm -hmm. life here on the island away from all your musician friends. has been getting you down. But I'll take care of all that once we're married. Maybe you better tell your mother that the wedding's on again. He's marrying her yeah, mother? You're pretty sure of yourself, aren't you? You know, the first thing you're going to do is have a long vacation. In hell. A whole month honeymoon in Europe. Uh-uh. You know how many hit records I'd have to sell to pay for that? More than Elvis or the Dad's Beatles. Putting the bill. It's his wedding present to us. He wanted to tell you himself, but he won't be here to write before the wedding. And when we get back, I'm going to have a big party so I can get to know all your friends. Before you kill them all. We'll be living in a three-room apartment. Mother and Daddy won't mind if we use their house in Bel Air. 
Mm. Hey, say, now that I'm getting married, it's too big for them anyway, so I'll be turning it over to us for good one of these days. Are you trying to spoil me? Kind of like Vi's like body is spoiling. Come on up to the house a minute. I want you to see something. Yes. What? My wedding gown. Oh. Isn't that supposed to be bad luck? You're not superstitious about things like that, are you? No, no, of course not. Oh, look out for that hand or whatever you do. <laughs> The snowbird sings a song he always sings. Hey, uh, Joe, what's going on? Oh, well, Crow, in today's experiment, the main character allowed a singer to plummet to her death, and I thought it'd be interesting if we were to take some of today's singers and... and plumb make them plummet to their death? What a great idea! Joe yeah. Robinson, I could kiss you! Well, wait a minute. Nobody is going to plummet to their death oh. here. You know, we'll put a trampoline down there or attach yeah. a bungee cord... To their necks. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody's going to get killed. We just want to put oh. the fear of God into them for oh. a little bit, okay? So... Yeah. Which of today's pop singers would you like to see drop from a tall lighthouse? Oh, well, my first choice would be Kenny Rogers. I'd like to watch him hang by his beard for a while till he pleaded for mercy and finally admitted that he was the coward of the county. Oh, Reuben James. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'd like to see the Manhattan Transfer all plunge to their doom. Is that a singing scat? They just be scat. Oh, fun. Uh, hey, don't forget Kenny Loggins. Okay. Oh, no, he's too skinny. He'd just float. Oh. Uh, well, then Jim Messina. Okay. Think I'm gonna have a son. Uh, ah. Let's try Kenny Loggins anyway. Okay. Oh, falling into the danger zone. Ah. He felt good. <laughs> you know, now remember, we're not killing anybody. Oh, right? yes, we are. Okay. What about Dr. Hook? Um, so his mother. Uh. Physician, heal thyself. Jonathan Edwards. Uh. Uh, Donovan. Uh. Uh, uh, Lionel Richie. Uh. Uh, Michael Bolton. Uh. Uh, ben Sidron. Uh. Michael Franks. Uh, Popsicle Toe. New uh. Kids on the Block. Uh. Starland Vocal Band. Uh. <laughs> okay. That's that pretty fun. Do you guys mind if I try one? Oh, sure. Okay, how about uh, Peter Himmelman? Oh! <laughs> that oh. felt good. Okay, yeah. time's running out. You each get one more choice, okay? Uh, oh, uh, Anne Murray. Oh, okay. <laughs> Classic choice, Crow. Okay, okay, <laughs> Kenny Rogers. Oh, well, you, you picked him already. I know, but I'm still mad about Six Pack. Mm -hmm. yep. Good point. Down Ruby, you go. don't take Whoa. your love to die! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you know, guys, this whole exercise was really kind of juvenile. Yeah, pretty destructive and negative. Yeah, I thought it'd be kind of cathartic, but it really wasn't, was it? Darn right it was! <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Hey, all right. <laughs> Come on, Joker. Hello. Welcome, those strangers. Hi, Kitty. Where have you been keeping yourself, lady? Uh, Some beautiful gifts have arrived, and you haven't seen any of them. Hey, look at this. But you're here anyway. Hmm. Hey, look Champagne. at me. I won the Stanley Cup. Hmm. <laughs> oh, geez, she's into the Excelsior again. Ooh. Another one. Uh-oh. There's my girl. Just who is he marrying? Hi, pal. Hi. Lolita. Everything made up with you, Nick. Well, I'm working on it. But don't tell anybody about my tripping out. Nice girl. Hi, Miss Nellis. Tom. Another pair. I know. People <laughs> must think newlyweds live on lettuce by <clears throat> candlelight. Just make nine pairs of candlesticks and twelve salad bowls and more coming every time the mail boat arrives. Meg got her wedding gown today and Tom... Ah, oh, that voice. Ugh. What a bride goes through to make herself attractive for you men. Ladies, back me up on this. Three fittings to get the bodice right. And three layers of net to make the skirt full enough. Well, oh, hmm. Arthur mm. seems worth it. After all, I'm only marrying her. <laughs> Don't look now, but Arthur Murray's here. <laughs> Sandy, see if there's a window open. There's a cold draft all of a sudden. Oh, gee, I could go for a cold draft right now. Sandy, check the door. Sandy, do this. I have to do everything. I change the oil in the car. Well, uh, maybe I should chill the champagne, huh? How about that? Well, uh, hmm, you know, booze is your best drug value. That's sweet smell. Jägermeister, honey. Must be the fresh roses. My roses never smelled like that. But it must be you. It's a woman's perfume. Say. Help me make room for these, dear. In my day, it wasn't candlesticks, it was teaspoons. 
Shut up. I received no less than 78 of them when we were married. Mm -hmm. Is that the reason for his attitude? Let's ditch her. When he went back to the main room, he said he was going to go right to the office and stay there until a wedding. I'm sure you'll never treat your wife like that, will you, Tom? You cleared the room, Grandma. Oh, really? Yes, I'm here, Mother. Where is he? <laughs> Whoa! Next. Guess she didn't like it. My wedding dress. Now it's garbage. What is it? What did she find? Seaweed. Well, she did ask for the mermaid cut. Well, we'll change the bridesmaid's dresses to green. Tom? Yes, Mrs. Ellis. No, I wasn't I pretending I was a playmate. I brought you some honey. Or it might be motor Don't oil. I'll just put it on the bar here. Let's wrestle Thanks, now. I really brought the honey only as an excuse because I knew you were upset. Hmm. Tom, there's nothing supernatural about what happened to Meg's dress. There must be a logical explanation. I know, I know. Maybe she was rolling sushi on it. Seaweed. It's just like that Samuels boy. There have been no recent deaths, Tom. <laughs> Define recent. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure of one thing. I'm a turtle. I've had enough of her. Who are you talking about? Oh, a, a friend I used to have, a girl uh, named Vi. That I don't have anymore. She came over here to the island. To Fell down. It's a, the, the, well, we quarreled. Off the island. Of, up in the lighthouse. She died, didn't, didn't. Uh, the, well, at any rate, she went back to the mainland. The girl thing. Are you sure that's what happened? What do you mean, am I sure? Well, maybe she didn't go back to the mainland. Hmm. Maybe this girl, Vi, is still here and is playing tricks to get even. Hey, check out Peter Lucas. Now, where do you suppose a woman can hide on this island? Who's hiding? Never mind, Sandy. Aye, aye, sir. Things will work out. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Turn. Turn. Right. Good. Hey, a kitty! Ann B. Davis as Mrs. Longstreet. Stella! Mrs. Stella! It sure isn't you! Why are people always saying never mind? Because there are some things that grown ups don't want children to know about, Sandy. Those are always the most interesting things. And because you're a bad person, oh, Sandy. Never mind. What is she, Liz Smith? Daddy's looking for it, the lighthouse. He's always hanging around there. The lighthouse is a very dangerous place, Sandy. Go play there, Sandy. It'll soon be torn down. That doesn't keep people from going there. But you mustn't go there, Sandy. Not ever. Run along home now. Gee, Honestly. you're a spooky old dame. Left, left, Mr. Buckle. Oh, honey, look out, Mo. Oh, oh, oh. The dog's playing a cruel joke on her. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Fritz? Well, I guess what I'm saying is I, I don't want to go in there. I'm surprised at you. You're being as silly as Tom. Don't ever say that. All right, I'll go alone. Lady. Young hello, lady, Hi. Mrs. Lady Thing. What's Mrs. Lovely Butterworth? Perfume you're wearing. It's no use. I know you're in here somewhere. I can hear you too. Don't you think it's ridiculous to hide? Just a second in the bathroom. There's something I want to say to you. Grab something out of the fridge. I'll be right down. If you won't. And I'll go up and find you. Well, better unpack another body bag. Yep. Mm. Um, is she wearing a life jacket under that sweater? No, she's Mrs. Michelin Man. Oh. Listen to me, please. Listen to me, please. I don't usually give people advice, but Tom is a dear friend, and I want to ask you to leave him alone. Are you listening to me? You might at least have the politeness to answer. <laughs> Why, that's a nasty laugh you have. Well, you see, I'm dead, and... What tricks are you up to now? Wait. Listen to me. An aging Kim Novak recreates this scene from Vertigo. 
This place sounds real nice. I love now what I think you've done with it. Tom half to death. It's not oh, hard that's to the point of being a ghost. I know Meg doesn't concern you, but you wouldn't want to make an innocent person suffer, would you? Well, sure, that's the most fun. I wish you'd speak more clearly. What do you want? I'm dead. My larynx is rotten. You're trying to make me sorry for you, I suppose. But I can't help thinking how foolish you are playing this absurd game. I can't help thinking how foolish she is climbing up that ladder. Ben, Dylan, let me talk to you, please. Hey, I can't see my house from up here. Tell those two people all the unhappiness you need to. It's time you stopped. I mean, it's fun, but... You don't belong here, you know. Why don't you leave Tom and Meg alone and go back? What are you saying? She's saying, watch that first step. I can't hear you. On the 50-meter board. Yeah, the dog's downstairs checking the want ads right now. Mm -hmm. What a fiend you are. I hate these one-woman shows. You're not fooling me. I know exactly what you are. You're a superstar. That's what you are. Mm. Mented, tormented, 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 tormented. Oh, John Cage. Not fair. You're getting the party, the presents, the husband. I get nothing. Be nice to me, Peanut. In two more days, I'll be a married woman, and you'll miss me. I'll miss Tom more. Sandy. Oh, what a beautiful crystal chamber pot. How's my family? Wrong family. Daddy. Am I too early or too late? I'm so happy you made it in time. You don't think I'd let my daughter marry without her favorite father being around, do you? Well, roll up your sleeves and pitch in. The party's right after tomorrow's rehearsal. Hi, honey. Right. Do I live here? Where's the groom? Where's my He's scotch? Kidding, What's the matter with him? He's been overworking. Are you a human? A piano, I suppose. Please don't start that again. It's bad enough to accept a musician into this family, but a jazz musician is asking too damn much. Why don't you go to bed, dear? You must be tired. You'll stay there for ten years. What's the matter with a jazz musician? Still, brat. Poor Tom. Mm. I think there's enough napkins there. Thank you. Mm, lots of more napkins. Ran out of napkins. Need lots of napkins. Oh, this is where they make Cape Cod potato chips. I think I'll check it out. Trick or treat for UNICEF. <coughs> she sounds like a seal. <coughs> Oh, she's like the Gordon's Fisherman babies. Hmm? Okay, I'll come back later. Hmm? Hmm. Stupid hat tricks. Hey, two years sobriety. My name is Vi. I'm a schnauzer. I belong to Tom Stewart. No. What do you know? Vice fixed the windows and the railings. You call a cab? Get in here, kid. Just move away. Don't make me use this thing. Can't you hear us something? I have to get this here. In the lighthouse? No, on the island. I'm the island. Hey, I'm just a little I kid. Look, kid, I really don't care. I'm a New York method actor. Give me a break. I'm looking for a guy called Tom Stewart. Do you know him? What do you want him for? It's Lou Reed. Mm -hmm. He won 200 thou on a sweepstakes ticket. I'm here to give him the money. Ooh. I don't believe you. Okay, I'm from a land of leprechauns, kid, dig? You know where he lives? I seem to be having a memory problem. I grease my palm with a sawbuck. Fight or flight? Fight or flight? Hmm. Mm, I should have whacked him. Speak to me, oh magic pendant. Ah, oh, gee, the kid's singing like a bird. Sessions presents Looking Glass. Brenda, you're a fun girl. What you looking for, Dad? In the color girls go. Do, 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 do. Oh, wow. Crazy. Pat. You lost, buddy? Man, this sure is. 
Really? Come on in. Can I get now, you anything? Wait a minute. What is this? Hmm? Look, I don't want nothing from you, Dad. I really don't. She owes me a fin, that's all. And I thought it'd be nice to have. And the color girls go. What are you talking about? Oh, sweat, Dad. I don't want nothing from you. She owes me a fin, that's all. Uh, in English, please, I don't dig with you freaky lactose oh, you man. you sure have a nice pad, Dad. Now, look, I don't mean to be rude, but you'll either have to tell me what you're talking about or get out of here. Look, the blonde, the one with the... Buick? She owes me some bread, that's all. There's nothing to get bugged about. What she does here is your business. Mm. I can see you dig me, Dad. Look, I motored this chick by Mason over to the island. Mm. I got a boat. A gravy boat. Now, when she asked me mm. if I'd take her, well, I say okay, but she said she doesn't have the change. This is what she said. Okay, so we make a deal. Five bucks over and five bucks back. So you place the woman in look, your automobile. I haven't the faintest idea who or what you're talking about. Look, Dad, all I want is the bread. When she didn't show by morning, I figure I'd been had. Mm. And I know she didn't go back on the regular run because I asked the putt-putt jockey. And he said, look, no, no hobble beatnik, okay? Now, I'm a real square, Dad. Yeah. I didn't remember the name of the guy she said. Did not. Today I remember. How do you like that? Hmm. Tom Stewart. Murderer. That's the name of the guy she said when we made the run. So, enough of this jazz, Dad. Come on. I have to leave. Get out. Well, mm -hmm. maybe I better wait around until the chick shows. You'll do nothing of the... Kind, type, sort. All right. Maybe it's worth it five dollars just to get rid of you. Here. There you go. Five bucks, I'm set for life! What you do is your business, Dad. All I want is what's coming to me. Uh, well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Hepcat, was it? Um, I'm coming down the road, wild man. Uh, keep on trucking, I, I think. I think the dog wants to eat. Yeah, I want a kennel ration omelet. They make a great one here. Be right with you, Mr. Dallas. Hey, you're Merritt Stone. That's Merritt Stone. Oh. Merritt Stone. Please, two boiler makers and a gravy train with a beer back bartender. Ah, some light beach mm -hmm. fare. There you are. Honey, a pickle? Yes, sirree. Plenty of pickle. Hey, we're dressed alike. So, how's life in the Merchant Marine, little girl? <laughs> Here we are. Tumbler of scotch and a menu. Anything else? How are you, Mrs. Ellis? Warm, oh, Mr. Nelson. It's a very warm day. I think I'll have something light. Like pork ribs. Uh, egg salad sandwich and a glass of iced tea with lemon. Don't like sugar in my tea, but plenty of lemon. <laughs> well, how about a nice hamburger or a tuna fish salad? Mm. What's the matter with your eggs? Well, there's nothing the matter with them. I just don't have any. Mm. I've been out of eggs for almost a week now. Mm. Kramer's hands just stopped laying. It's a funny thing. Nothing like this ever happened before, except mm. once, about the time of Samuel's boy died. Uh, plot point, uh, plot uh, point, uh, plot uh, point. Uh, plot uh, point. Uh, Would you like a tuna fish salad? Just the iced tea. Do you charge right. extra for the plot point? Oh, this is real gone, Daddy-o. Hey, Dad, can I have a Coke? Hey, pups, catch you on the drink jank. The Hubbards had to send over to the mainland special to get some eggs for their party. Can't bake a cake without eggs. Hmm. Speaking of the wedding, are you still there, Sandy? <coughs> yes, ma'am. Shouldn't you be at the rehearsal? Holy cow! Charge it, Mr. Nelson! You know, Mr. Nelson, I wish I could have my sight back long enough to see Tom and Meg marry. They must be a lovely couple. Lady, you're scaring my customers. Anything to see them. They're a handsome couple, all right. Tom Stewart's marrying a beautiful gal. Nicest of family. <laughs> Tom Stewart. Hey, Dad. What did you say the handle of the guy getting spliced was? Tom mm -hmm. Stewart. The girl's name is Meg Hubbard. Now, this cat's onto my hip lingo too quick. I am out of here. And little Sandy will be standing here to my right, next to the bride. It's not fair. Of course, to her right, and you'll be standing here. The parents will be in their pews. And, and then the milkman will enter from the back. May I help you? Yeah, I... I want to speak to Tom Stewart. Oh, uh, 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 something about uh, some half and half for the wedding. <laughs> what? What do you want? Hey, really gone wedding, Papio. Forgive me, Tom, for I have slanged. You're interrupting a wedding rehearsal in there. 
Like I said, Dad, what you do is your business. I mean, it's crazy with me if you want to marry one chick and keep another one on the side for kicks. Wow. But I feel sort of a responsibility, seeing as how I brought your broad over on my tug. See what I mean? What are you driving at? Come on, Dad, don't you know? I gave you the money you're after. What more do you want? Three more well, bucks. Seems that hey, our hey, deal hey, is in line for some renegotiation. Mom, what? hurry. We're waiting for you. Yeah, go ahead, back. We'll pick it up later. Time, I got plenty of. Um, um, okay, then. Uh, sorry I was the wrong Tom Stewart. Hope you find the right Tom Stewart. Huh. Mistake. Seems like a really nice guy. Uh, just wish he wasn't blackmailing me. The Nazis fortified Normandy and waited in their beach houses. Wait a minute, he's pulling a shift at his own party. Tomorrow night, I'll be Mrs. Stewart. Isn't that right, Mr. Stewart? <laughs> I'll be right back. Come on, you're not paid to mingle. Oh, I, uh, I wanted to get a drink. Yeah, I'll get it for you. Just one more number. I want to show you off. You played it for her, you can play it for me. Hey, quit talking about me. Oh, nice of Edward Teller to drop by. Oh, you know, <laughs> shouldn't wear buffalo checks. No one should. It's a jazz musician's party, and there's not one black person here. Oh. I need booze. Now. Mm-hmm. Mm. Drink it. Drink it all. Sorry, I started you, Tom, but candidates are the best kind. I had my mouth open and my eyes closed. What else is new? If you don't like it, I can take another. No. <laughs> Photographs do add 10 pounds. Mm -hmm. No, that's fine. Are you sure? Not sure. Well, I'm not. No, darling, you're really kind of ugly in it. Get a drink. I hate photo collage. Just have a bottle of ketchup here. Mm. Tom, what's wrong with it? Nothing. It's only a picture. Why are you so upset? I'm not upset. Shut up. Things bothering you. It's not as if you killed someone. Shut up, shut up. Another girl. You can tell me. I, I'll try not to be jealous. Well, okay, there's a huge disembodied head floating around your living room. Bye. She's dead. She doesn't exist. She's a, a perfume. She's a footprint. She's a hand. She's Sounds a, like... a face in a picture. Um, Who could be uh, jealous of Bye? You're talking crazy, Tom. Let me see the picture. No. You're not making any sense. Look, I'm a musician. What do you want? It's her face between the two of us. Uh huh. That's great, Tom. I don't see anything. Except for a huge disembodied head. Except you and me. And a dog named E. Eo. No. So who's Vi? So a girl named Vi, he didn't want to tell me about her. <laughs> Did you put out the light? Did you make a tinkle? What's the matter? You don't look too happy. You ought to be. You're getting married tomorrow. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. And I wonder the way Tom's been acting lately. Anything Tom does is all right. He's perfect in your eyes anyhow, isn't he? Don't worry, Sandy. I love him. But his touch repulses me. Every girl has a few last-minute doubts. Because he's always around the lighthouse? Because he imagines things that aren't so. Oh, like Macbeth. Everything will be all right. It's late. I'm going to stay up and watch our senior. I'll get the window. Oh, hi, Tom. Uh, hmm? There's a light up there. I wonder who it could be. Boy and a girl, probably. You wouldn't understand. Try me. They used to go there to nip. Not anymore. 
Everybody says it's too cold and damp and smelly. How did you know that about Tom? Does Tom go there with anybody? Or does anybody meet him there? Now who's imagining things? Now who's asking questions? Besides, that's probably only a reflection of the moonlight on a loose pane of glass. Why the devil? Hmm. Sessions presents... I write the songs that make the something, something... Uh, hmm. Why, listen, if you're gonna haunt me, you haunt me on my terms. Tom, play Freebird. Here. Okay, put your hands behind you. Now slowly put your wallet on the piano. Spy, what? Wow, you've lost a lot of weight. Here, let me put a coaster under you. <laughs> what do you want? My body. I want you, Tom. I want to save you from your own mistake. My only mistake was in knowing you. And the only way you could correct it was for me to die, wasn't it? Hmm. It's not my fault you're dead. You're in charge of your own destiny, sister. I couldn't have saved you. Couldn't you? Maybe you can make yourself believe that, but not me. I'm I don't was that. there, remember? Mirror. You had to shut me up so you could marry me. You got away with that, all right, but now what are you going to do? Ghostbusters! I'll never let you marry me. You belong to me, Tom. You belong to a ghost. Uh, can I get you a beer or anything? I'd... One first slip. You have to go from bad to worse to keep it quiet. Well, they got nice hairstylists in the afterlife. Do you Meg gets wise to you. Stop her the same way you stopped me. I didn't kill you, Vi. I never killed anybody and I never will. And once I'm married, I'm going to live a very happy, very normal life with Meg and with our friends. And your head. There's really nothing you can do about it. Isn't there? You may have noticed I've found my voice now. Hmm. I pick things up fast. I'm going to use it to tell the world about you. I told you, Tom, no one will ever have you but me. Stop it, Brian. Try and make me. Tom Stewart killed me. Tom Stewart killed me. Everybody, Tom Stewart killed me. I'm just the lady. It's Tom Stewart. Come on, join in! Come on, we're going bowling. It's just like Barton Fink now. Tom Stewart, who killed ate me? Oh, boom. Hey, nice head. I'd say that's about a four or five pound head. Dad, don't be in such a hurry, Dad. You're always in a hurry. You shouldn't be like that. Give me that. I just want to talk to you, Chum. A nice, friendly talk. That's all. Mm. Give me that. Don't. And Shazam! Well, there's another trick I can't do. Uh, I got these for you. You look sick, Dad. Something's wrong. Look, are you going to talk to me or not? Quit picking your nose. Let's get this thing over with. Yep. Okay, I need two quarts of 2%. Of milk what do you want? Like I said, Dad, all I wanted was coming to me. You know, the way it looks to me, we should be sort of part. I help you, and you help me. Hey, Tom, Crow, do you guys want to... It works. Hey, Gypsy. Told you we're downright <laughs> terrifying. Okay, how about this? Joel Robinson killed us. Joel Robinson killed us. Joel Robinson killed us. Hey, you guys. Joel Robinson. What in the world happened over there? I saw a Gypsy running away like she'd seen a ghost or something. That Joel is because she did. Ooh, Joel Robinson killed us. Joel Robinson killed us. Hey, hey, I did not. You did too. I did not. Then why are we dead? Well, you're not. 
dead, and you're certainly not ghosts. And even if you were ghosts, I wouldn't be afraid of you because I've seen you this way about a million times before. But this time it's different, Joel. This time we really died, and now must spend eternity tormenting the very man who gave us life. Tormenting! To escape this heinous living hell, you have only one option. You must offer gypsy to us in a pagan earth ceremony, which yeah. we hold every Tuesday at 8. It's the only thing that makes any sense anymore. Yeah, well, listen, you guys aren't funny anymore, and uh, you deserve each other. I'm going to take your bodies and get uh, going. Hey, okay, hey, yeah. hey, Joe, we're sorry. We're just having a little fun. Uh, uh, Joe, hey, don't turn the lights off. Uh, uh, it's the only thing that makes sense anymore. That's what really made him mad, you know. Oh, like he was going along with the sacrifice idea until then. Face it, Crow. We used poor judgment, scared Gypsy, irked Joel, and now we're stuck here in the dark with no bodies. I'm not scared, though. No, me neither. Oh, I mean not one little bit. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> Servo? Servo? Servo! I'm right here. Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I bring your playgirl over to the island, and I think it's working Thanks for our heads back, Joel. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. It's you. okay. Like a private service, yes? The word you're reaching for is blackmail. That's not it at all, Dad. We should be sort of pals. I've done you a favor, now you can do me one. Ooh. In other words, if I don't pay you blackmail, you go to my fiancé and expose my life of sin. Is that it? Gee, I was just going to have you buy me you lunch. I haven't proved, Dad, but you're getting the idea. But it won't do you any good. I'm not going to pay you one lousy cent. In the first place, I don't know a girl named Vi. Mm. And even if I did, it wouldn't do you any good. Because unfortunately, I'm not sharing my cottage with anyone. If it'll make you feel better, you can look for yourself. That's not necessary, Dad. Not at all. You see, I already have. Well, then you know she's not here. Well, yes and no. You see, when you were so eager to come up with that five spot, I figured you were, well, anxious mm. to keep everything so quiet-like. Now, when Welcome I to Dialogue quiet, Dumping Ground. Mm. Well, the story's even getting better to read. Now, here comes the part I like the best. Okay. I do a little snooping when you're not around. What do you think? I, think... I, uh, I just thought of a new jazz tune. You still with me, Dad? Go on. You see, that's the punchline. There's your punch. That's the gimmick. If this doll boy isn't hiding in your cottage, and she isn't any place else in the island, and she never left the island. Hmm. Now, what do you suppose would have happened to her, huh? You tell me. I asked you uh, first. You're a comedian. Uh -uh. You're the one that has the rest of the answers. You know something? Everything you've just said is all bluff. You don't know a damn thing. That's not friendly, Dad. Not friendly at all. In fact, I thought you'd take a wrong outlook on things, so I sort of borrowed something. Well, that's the key to my heart. I'm a friend of yours. Gypsies, tramps, and peas. Let's get out of here. I can see that you finally dig me. Well, oh, wait a minute. Isn't hey, that Tom Stewart? Tom Stewart! I forgot why I was coming this way. Oh, uh, what's uh, my what's... boyfriend's name? Here at Gordon's at Gloucester, we make fish sticks the old fashioned way. Okay, okay. We freeze them. <laughs> what did we come up here for? So I can kill you, Mr. Vond. So that you and I can have a little talk in peace and quiet. I suggest you order the cod. Just what do you want? Five thousand. Zen dollars. Five thousand. Zen dollars. Don't tell me you know gut. Your future father-in-law is loaded. Tom. Tom. Offer him thirty-five hundred. Who are you talking to? Sam. You didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. I'm waiting to hear something from you. Okay, I'll sing "Nights in White Satin." They're closing in on you, Tom. Say. You better take care of him right now. No. Yes. That's your final answer? How much well, did you I wager? Didn't... All of it? Oh, I'm sorry. Give me a minute. He's so easy, Tom. Just as easy as I was. I do believe in spooks. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do. I do believe in spooks. Blow is all it takes. So do I. You got rid of me, but you'll never get rid of him as long as you live. He'll bleed you of every penny, Tom. Hmm. And all the time you'll have She's pretty long-winded for a ghost. Yeah. Find out. What if Meg finds out? You can't let him do it, Tom. You'll lose everything. The condo, the car, and the vacation to Puerto Vallarta. Look, you've had enough time. Put your pencils down, please. Ding. Do I get the money or don't I? 
Uh, uh, to take visa? All right. You know what's best. See what your chick has to say about this. No more yogurt. Wait. Change your mind? No. Yes. No. Yes, you know. No. No. Yes! The original dead milkman. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. Either this man is dead or my watch has stopped. Well, at least he's tidy. Mm -hmm. Tonight's episode, I've seen the best minds of my generation murdered. Mm -hmm. I saw Tommy killing beat Mick. See that the Rockford problem is taken care of permanently. Jim Henson's Witness Babies. Da -da -da -da. Racket Squad. Oh, that's where she left her shoes. Hmm. Huh. She's really kind of flat. To, uh, oh, oh, it's... Tom taught me the meaning of loss last night. Mm -hmm. Sandy, come here. Sandy, hmm? did you hear your mother call you? What is it? I'm harboring a horrible secret which I'm sublimating into my unconscious, Mom. Have you found my Kill Waldo books? Oh, Sandy, we have to be at the church in 20 minutes and you're not even dressed yet. Never mind that now. Meg snagged her hymn. Come and hold it while I tack it up. You'll make a lovely wife, Meg. Paul Freeze. Thanks. Meg? Do you really love him a whole lot? Whatever makes you ask a thing like that? He's a killer! Well, He's a killer! Said you weren't sure. Well, I'm sure now. Oh, you'll remember to take the bouquet when I hand it to you, won't you? I'll remember. If we're not all dead. Suppose he'd done something awful bad. The way I feel now, I'd marry him no matter what. Can you say denial? Don't forget, you stand close behind me, but not too close. There, that's done. And you, young lady, get into your gown this instant. I'm gonna wear my black dress. People don't fear the reaper. Sub it loaned us her ring in place of the one you lost, so that's okay. I've got the minister's fee here in my pocket, and everything's under control. So snap out of it. Okay, okay, I'll be all right. And get that funereal look off your face. This is a wedding match. Come on, let's swing. Cheer him up, honey. Kind of like having Sylvia Plath cheer you mm. up. You can buy my silence, Tom. Well, that's... It's a real pretty dress, Sandy. You're really going to marry my sister, aren't you? Yep. I don't feel like that. I can't help but... Suppose you love somebody. Somebody who did something bad. And only you knew. Would you keep it secret? Why, yes, I would. I would tuck it deep well, into my subconscious. Good friends generally try to stand by one another. But what if it were something real, real bad? Then keep it real, real, real bad, secret. Like what? Murder? Got a Davida, baby. Come and throw. Tugboat, come and throw. And once again, there is no smoking in your metrodome. <sighs> Dearly beloved. And the rest of you. We are gathered together here. And tucked there. In the sight of God and in the face of this company. To join together this man. And this victim. And this woman. They're getting married in a nursing home mentioned. chapel. Which is an honorable estate. Hmm. instituted of God, mm -hmm. signifying unto us the mystical union mm -hmm. that is betwixt Christ and his church. 
which holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his Quit presence. Quit padding your part, Padre. The first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee. Now suffering And is, is commended to St. Paul, to be honorable among all men. And therefore, is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly. They did it! Oh, I mean, do! Reverently, I do. They do. discreetly, advisedly, soberly. And in the fear of God. Hi, murderer. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. If any man yeah, can show just cause, right hand red. Right hand not possibly be joined together, let him now speak. Or else, hereafter, forever. Five thou, where I sing like a canary. Uh, uh, uh. Elaine! Are you on the bride's side or the groom's side? Well, I'll be damned, here comes your ghost again. Ooh, B.O. B.O. Phew, I hate to have to sit next to that ghost. Hmm. Ooh, you paid 50 for that? The mass is in the middle of the school and Let's get out of here! Reception to follow at the lighthouse. RSV, RIP. Hmm. Oh, he's got to get the matchbooks and the napkins now. Thank you, Vi. Just because you couldn't find anything to wear to the wedding didn't mean you had to ruin it for everybody. Open the Bye. door for your mystery date. I'm not Vi. I've come to tell you you've won. And here's what you've won. Tell them, Johnny. You'd be glad to hear that. I'm going away, Vi, and I'm not coming back. I got a wife and kids in Baltimore, Jack. Bye. Mom and Dad are going to send you to military school. Why, I'm running out on Meg. I'm not coming back. Hmm. Sandy's back, and she's pissed. Sandy, what are you doing here? Payback time. Why did you have to kill him? Thomas Dewey. I knew something would happen. I was against the marriage from the beginning. I'm leaving for another 10 years. Let me help you with your gown, dear. Don't bother Mother Sandy over there. Sandy, help your sister. She's out interrogating Tom. Where is Sandy? Sandy. I thought you came home ahead of us. Well, if she did, she's not here now. She hadn't seen it, Sandy. Now I'm afraid you'll tell everybody, and I don't know what to do. I'm wearing a wire, yeah. Tom. But how can I be sure of that? Good friends protect each other. Yes. But sometimes they can't help themselves. Things leak out. Mm. Police hear about it. Do you know what would happen if the police heard about this? You're going to fry, Stuart, and I'm going to be there when they flip the Gas switch. Chain. You're gonna have to take the fall, Sandy. Sandy, why did you have to see it? Oh, blame me! No. Nobody could help any of it except me. I could have saved Vi. I could have put my hand out to her. But the sun was in my eyes. I killed her. Sandy, how would you like to bungee jump without the bungee? Sandy, you... No, I love you very much, don't you? Look, Tom, I got a friend at the DA's office. If I don't show up, they open my lunchbox. Thank you, Reverend. She isn't there. Hmm. I can't imagine where I she could have gone. I checked every bar in town. Where's Tom? The least he could do is be here when Meg needs him. Can't you leave him alone? Just because he ruined our lives? 
There's the light in the lighthouse. Huh. Sandy could be there. She talks about the place all the time. Hey, how many Dalmatians died for that dress? 101. Hmm. We'd better make sure. After I knock back a Rob Roy or three. <laughs> Why are we going up there? Let's go up and look at the sea. You're not afraid of me, are you? I never used to be. Mm. Come on, then. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo Babies. This is one dark mama jama of a movie, guys. Yeah. You better hurry up. He's got to return to Tux. When the moon shines, you can see the whole island from up here. Look, if I disappear, there's a crayon drawing that'll go to my lawyer. Diarrhea is like a storm raging inside you. You didn't tell anyone we were coming up here, did you? Yes, I did. I papered the I city with flyers. Good. Good. Let's go back. Mm -hmm. You afraid? Yeah. Oh, Sandy. Sandy, why did you have to see it? Because the critics gave it a good review. Hmm? Why, this isn't a good time. <laughs> Sandy has grown up a lot this week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming into our lives, Tom. So does this make Meg a widow? Uh, yep. Widow mm -hmm. maker. Yeah, it's technical. Suddenly people live here. Sessions presents Faces oh, of Death. Stop it. Oh. It's a keeper. Whoa. How do you tell? Oh. oh. Where did he find her? Wedged in the rock. Mm -hmm. She's been down there a week, I'd say. Rob, make him stop. Sammy Khan is the doctor. Mm. Oh, he's cheating on me even in death. If you could see what I hear. I have been acquainted with the night. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and death. Charles Moffat. Or is it? Don't. Whoa. It's only a movie, it's only a movie, it's, it's only, only a movie, movie. It's, it's only a movie. It's only a crappy movie by Bird Eye Gordon that he made to massage the marketplace. <laughs> Simply nurturing one's basest instinct and trying way too hard to be film noir. Uh, geez, Joe. I'm riding such a major bummer, I feel like I just spent a couple of hours at Liquor Lyle's talking to Neil Young. <laughs> hey, wait, I know what let's do. Wait a minute, guys. We could think happy thoughts and about good things, and those happy thoughts and good things will shoo away all those dark, smelly images that are canerping for moisture. Oh, like the way sunshine chases away clouds. Yeah. yeah. Like the way Lysol spray erases bathroom odors without heavy perfume. Yeah. Yeah. And kills household germs in empty garbage cans. Yeah. Empty hampers, toilet areas, yeah. under sinks, yeah. pet areas, yeah. diaper yeah. pails, yeah. sick rooms. Yeah! Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! Exactly! <laughs> Come on, you guys. Hey. Oh, there's a marshmallow rainbow waiting for you with kitties and doggies, too. And a Super Soaker 202. And I just got $10 from Grandma. And I don't have to share it with no one. <laughs> and we all get to go to the Valley High Drive in our pajamas and watch the Star Wars triple feature, Dusk to Dawn. And my dad just became really good friends with Mike Connors of Manix Fink. And he's got me a triple decker tree house. And I'll swing down on my vine to my own zoo. I'm having Lenny Land dinners for breakfast and King by demand for dinner. And the good humor truck rolled over in front of my house, too. And I live in the world of Super.
Super Mario Brothers and we captured Rommel and gave him to the president and he gave me my own half hour sitcom following cheers. And there's no such thing as girls. Oh wait, I think you want to think about that. Hmm? What do you think, sirs? And Mr. Dr. Clayton Forrester will switch trains at the train yard, and there will be a horrible accident for which Dr. Forrester will be blamed posthumously, of course. And then the robots and I will become really good friends and we'll be roommates with triple bunk beds and we will stay up all night talking about really cool stuff and they'll think I'm really neat. And then I'll invite them over to my house and we'll camp out and poopy. <laughs> This has been a presentation from Comedy Central.